It's Bill Zappa, Professor Sage, and welcome back to Super Robot Wars Alpha. This time, I thought ahead. I think I did it last time. It's been a couple of days since I recorded. I've rearranged and more or less re-scribbled the guide that I have to read from, so I'm not jumping around. And hopefully, I got it. Hopefully. Let's try. Somewhere. In space. Exodor is explaining to Britai that something strange happened during the battle. Many warriors who got closer to the Macross and received some sort of sonic transmission became unable to fight. Britai wonders is this supposed to be the Myclone's special power? And Exodor says a more thorough investigation is in order. Britai agrees to alter the plan taking place on the sixth planet. Ah, we don't get that part. Okay. Okay. We find the heroes discussing the Miss Macross contest. Shinobu is pretty impatient that everyone is dinking around while there are enemies on all sides. Max points out that the citizens of the city have been through all sorts of hell and it might be good to improve their morale. So the others figure Asuka and Sarah could win if they kept their mouths shut and don't let others see their true color. Masato tells so Shinobu he's gonna get killed if he get if it gets out that he said as much. Romano, Ritsuko, Emma, Ray, and so on are all suggested as possible contenders. Ipe gets branded as an otaku for just for suggesting Ray, but he says that he should think of him as leaving. They should think of him as think of it as. Wow, I can't talk, and the sentence is written fine. Yipei gets branded as an otaku for su suggesting Rain, but he says people should think of it as him having superior taste. In which case, why doesn't Misato get that? Oh, that's writer's note. Fuck that. Hikaru's a bit jealous of the thought of Minmei entering and being chosen. In any case, since the concert is happening and the crew isn't on call for Scramble, they plan to go. Shinobu will invite Ryusei, who's been a little depressed since the incident. Several of the girls have come to see Aya in the infirmary, seeing Ryusei asked them to do so. Aya had wanted to be alone and is surprised to hear how depressed Ryusei was since he couldn't protect her. Sarah tells Aya that she was once in the same boat, and Aya kind of heard about this already, and that she only found out of, after the fact that all Shapiro loved was himself. She says that her primary reason for fighting is to beat the Shapiro with her own hands, and perhaps Earth peace on Earth can come after that. I wonder if Sarah is telling her to fight Ingram. Amber tells her that she has to decide that for herself. Rekuma tells I that while everyone has their own reasons for fighting, everyone has in common that the fact that they're fighting to protect someone. And that Rekko might even leave the Londo Bell if she found something important to her. Huh. I don't think she actually does in this game, though, so. So it turns her to find what's important to her. I isn't certain because thoughts of Ingram are still within, telling her that there is some reason, that it's all some sort of mistake. The very fact that Ingram went back to the irrigators is what makes her uncertain as to what she should believe in and what she should do. Sarah tells her that she should search, and that everything will become clear the next time she sees Ingram again. <sighs> Elsewhere, Ryusei and Rai are hearing from espionage that no problems showed up on the R-series that the SDS technology could detect. Thus, they can sortie once again, and even fight Ingram. However, there is some system installed in the R1 and R3 whose purpose is yet unknown and links to the T-Link system. The device is also installed in Kusuho's machine. Ingram probably placed it himself, but it's made with Earth technology so it doesn't appear dangerous. The only choice is to ask Dr. Kobayashi about this black box.
Huh, okay. I guess Shinobu shows up and invites Ryusei to the concert. Right, tells him to go, go ahead and go. But when Ryusei tries to take him, he says he's just sick of seeing Ryusei moping a brown. Yeah. As the Anash laments, also not having tickets to the concert. Uh, Asuka echoes Shinobu's earlier objections. Kusuha repeats Max's, you know, positivity towards it. Shinji asks Asuka why she didn't enter, and responds, Why should she enter an old fashioned contest that only judges people based on their exterior? <laughs> oh. So, the thing that they would have wanted. He almost points out that she's here to watch anyway, so she tells him to just shut up. Not any boring as she entered since she's a sure win anyway. <laughs> Shinji figures she'd kind of say that. Should nobody yells at both of them to just knock their lover's quarrel and take it somewhere else. However, Hikaru gets paged. We have options. On one hand, We can, uh, let me find it in the guide. We can ignore the summons and get a skill point in battle. Or we can answer it now and get a skill point immediately. However, each choice also has its own options. If we ignore the summons, we are choosing Minmei. If we answer the summons, we are choosing Misa. I want skill point now, and I'm also choosing Misa. On the real robot route that I'm playing on the side, I will be playing through the min made choices. There we go. Let me make sure I got the right thing highlighted. So, skill point get. And then back to the god. When we enter it, Misa asks if we are where we are. Well, we're inside the city. Tells you to go attack the aliens who are headed for the Macross. She wonders why the he wonders why those on duty uh, the he wonders why those on scramble duty aren't going for it. But Misa says it's an emergency and asks him, "Are you really a soldier?" Too bad he'll miss out on Minmay's debut as he heads off to his plane. Stage thirty-six, Misu Macross. As Hikaru is getting off to his plane, Minmei gets Kaifon to promise to be her manager, should she win. However... Now, before the action is starting, we see the Zentradi observing Koa living arrangements. He is dumbfounded that the enemy actually managed to penetrate the ship and is glad he was, uh, late to launching? Misa orders him to keep the enemy from raiding the concert hall. So, uh, it appears that our conditions are... Thus. Uh, and I believe they're the same as making the other choice, because sometimes when you make a choice, the stage that entails is different. So for now, I'm going to grab this picture. Boom. Yep, conditions are exactly the same. 
defend the concert hall, all enemies defeated. Uh, any enemy touches the concert hall, or all allies are defeated. As you do. Get my side hop. Let's get this going. So we're here. Concert hall's way the heck over there. Here's some boys over here. Ah! I forgot that was a button. You know what? We're hardly ever in Battle Royale. There we go. Got him. I guess I didn't need to use some missiles on that one. A little bit of a waste. We'll be fine. Oh, you're gonna run off, huh? That music. On round two, two unknowns up here. It's Catra, out to defend the defenseless once again. Duo is also kind of here, though realizes appearing now makes her infiltration on the Macross completely meaningless. Well, it could be a nice test of the new Death Side Hell. So, here we are. Although we've seen the boys before, they are now in their Season 2 upgrades. Sandrock Kai. No new weapons. Catra's got self destruct Luck, Focus, Trust, Hot Blood, Level 7 Sword and Shield. Dewey's back. I Field Generator and Bunshin. self destruct Flash, Focus, Hot Blood, Level 7 Sword and Shield. Unfortunately, they're all the way over there. I don't... I, I played the other option of this, so all the enemies were just kind of already there. So I'm not sure who's going to show up where or what. Damn it! Well, let's see if our conditions changed. Same. Protect the space. Nobody dies. Or don't let everybody die. this? Missing with 70% chances? Getting hit on a 30? Right. I 
wish you had Axel. I'm gonna be very upset if you don't have anything that can reach. Okay, good. Even though I think it's just Vulcans. Oh, okay. <sighs> These numbers are getting really stupid now. Yes, I get that there's a chance to miss, but lately it feels more and more like, at least with the Zentradi, like, if I have a chance to miss, it's a miss. Like, you saw me miss on a 70, you saw me miss on a 77... I've been hit on a 30. I swear, if I don't do something about this guy, I'm gonna lose. He will be the one to get in there. So Catra has to hit and Hikaru has to hit. So we're back on turn three, trying to actually stop things from dying, and this this guy's some kind of ace, because no matter what, like, looking at everyone else, they seem pretty damn normal. 31, unknown, because I didn't attack him, unknown, because he didn't attack, but something about this guy. This guy. Let's look at these numbers, because this guy is some kind of elite. What is with you? Huh. I this isn't this isn't making any sense, cause when I attack them, their stats are like way high, but when they attack me, their stats are way low. Please hit. And then he gets to counter. What is going on with these numbers? Finally. So that that's down. Oh. They forced to put him in the J. This is so confusing because they've been just choosing what to deploy him in, and it's not balanced. Like 
Oh, let's give him in the last stage, just give him the super pack in the A. Where's this J? Well, now we're going to give him the, the regular one. It's, I don't, I don't understand. Let's make sure to focus. Because I put equipment on the, the, the super packs. I thought that's what he was going to be deployed in. This game is making some really dumb decisions. And inconsistent wasn't that. It's like, all right, I'll upgrade this one. Nope, here's a new one. I'll upgrade that one. Nope, here's your first one. No oh. Sigh. Powerful sigh. Defend it. Please, be gone. Just the two, and the three of us. <sighs> Hopefully. Hopefully. focus. Wait, you don't have any more luck, do you? You do. Mm. And so do you, so... I think this is one of those really simple, quick stages that's just hard because of your limited number of units. So we're gonna make sure that we do everything in our power to get these dollars. I, damage. I think that would be enough. Good. That's that. Let's make sure to get this. Get it in there. Okay, we only have 600. Let's make sure to focus. Because we're not having any of that shit. Machine gun punch. Haha! -ha! Okay, cool. Camille, Amro, and Kusaha appear. Duo's lost his dang chance to run away. And it's forced to be nice towards his old companions. Amro asks Katra to stand down and come with them, which he agrees to. It's fine. He currently feeling a little down for not being able to see Min Mei's debut. But Falker comes down. Falker comes in and very high. Oh. I. Falker mm. comes in on the scene in very high dungeon, which I don't know if that's a word. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it live. Uh, dungeon. A feeling of offense or deep resentment. Okay. That's... We learned a new word today, folks. Da -da -da. He comes in very high dungeon and informs Hikaru that Minmei won. Hikaru starts feeling more down at the thought that Minmei's new world of acting, singing, etc. would take her further and further from him.
Picaro is moping when Mason shows up and starts talk taking him to task for altering the list of who was on scramble duty without permission from the bridge. He gets upset and says that he'll take whatever punishment he's designed and scrambles off. Mason just wanted to thank him for repulsing the enemies from within the city. After all that high-end madness, Catcher tells everyone who he is and what's going on. I'm going to ask him to stand... Uh, mm -hmm. He explains to Global and the others that he was sent from the Colonies to destroy various Ultratech and EOT-oriented facilities. Well, more precisely to pinpoint and, if necessary, take out anything which threatened the balance of peace. His targets were the Titans, the EOT facilities in Japan, the Far East Base, and DCHQ, along with the ASS-1 Macross. Evidently, he figured out upon visiting South Italia that leaving the aliens up to their own devices put all of humanity in danger. Catcher then agrees to help the squad out, but not just for the sake of humanity. He wants to meet up with the other Gundam Wing pilots, whose roles and independent missions profile is like his own. He wants to win them over to a unified humanity standing against all aliens. Although, if possible, he'd prefer it However unlikely, the fight with the aliens could be avoided altogether. Arno adds his weight to Catcher's request. Misato is a bit dubious, but Global says that Catcher's statement about unity is correct, and that he's not the kind of child to lie. Misato concedes that he does seem honest and cute, but isn't quite comfortable when Global asks if she has a thing for younger guys. Elsewhere, at the same time, uh, Bulldozar summons Britai to answer for apparently plotting to contact the Myclones behind his back. Britai explains that it was determined that the Myclones in question were a new type, i.e. not the Empire's troops, and therefore proceeded with the survey. Bulldozar orders them to present more information, and Exodor shows the footage that the Zentradi people who infiltrated the Macross captured. Like the Empire, these Myclones... These Myclones have both men and women living together. And the ones created some sort of sonic wave utterly like anything in the Empire, which rendered the Zentradi soldiers incapable of battle. Plus, the Macross being an old battleship is likely a source of Tronium. But Dolzar orders Retai to capture some samples of the enemy Myclones. Well... On one hand, I'm very appreciative that this stage is pretty short, as far as recording goes. On the other hand, I didn't appreciate the way that the game is juggling around what unit Hikaru is and isn't in, despite where you put him in this menu. Uh, there's... What am I looking for? Da, 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 da. Hikaru, suddenly in the BF1J, when... Before the before the intermission, he was in his S super pack. It this isn't consistent, and that's a problem. I mean, I guess chalk it up to being old. You know, old games do old things. Ah, <sighs> grump, grump, grump. But at least my frustration will help y'all plan and practice and be prepared for when y'all come across this situation. I thank y'all for watching. And as always, Sixion.